Hi, Dr. Joe here, because I have been reviewing all the reasons why people could get cancer. And I've thrown away a lot of things over the past hour. They all end up with, there's so many factors we can't figure out what's going on. For example, you go to the Arctic and they uh, have all the things that are known to produce cancer in higher quantities through the air and so forth. So too in other sequestered areas of the world that talk about this. And then there's a group that thinks we should get lots more sun in our situation that would make everything become quite a bit better. So then I happened on one particular uh, series of graphs, four of them, that tell you about the cumulative retirement of the process of getting cancer. In other words, you'll get less cancer in various groups. The larger your amount of active vitamin D3 is in your body. So this was cancer of the breast, colon, lung, and lymphoma. That's a pretty good swath. And as you can see, as these things go on, that as time goes on, you have less and less problem with cancer. This is the only meaningful thing I've really seen in this whole situation. So it is something you've got to realize. We don't know all the answers, but we know you can do something good. And vitamin D is as close as I can get right now to figuring out what you can do best of all as soon as you can. It's therefore your time.